So there seems to be a misconception out there that I have a problem or a prejudice against cheap guns. I recently did the video on the cheapest semi-auto shotgun and I saw comments like, for a cheap gun, it sure seems fine to me. Or, you know, the bad guy isn't gonna stop and critique your cheap gun before he gets smoked. As if I meant cheap in a negative way. It simply means low cost. And today, I'm here to prove it to you guys. This is my most recent purchase. This is the Savage Axis 308 bolt action rifle you can see we still have the stickers on this one so this entire gun was like 379 bucks with the scope so not the highest quality parts on this but i've been needing a 308 for a while because every time we do videos like you know bulletproof experiments or caliber comparisons i have to stop at the ak-47 or get out like the old eight millimeter mauser or the 7.62 54r stuff like that so we're slowly working our way up and getting into bigger and bigger calibers until eventually we have all of them so i came out and zeroed it the other day and besides that i haven't shot this thing so let's see if it's a cheap piece of junk or if it actually works it does have a pretty strong recoil impulse for a 308 but not bad. Smoking the target. As a lefty, these bolt action guns are kind of awkward, but I'm getting the hang of it. And that's the last round. So it's a four round magazine, which is kind of a weird number, but doesn't really matter on a bolt action gun. So I had the SCAR-17 a few years ago, I don't know if you guys remember that, it's you know been at least a couple years, and that thing felt like a 5.56, like it really had hardly any recoil for a 308. This is definitely not that, it's obviously a bolt action gun, so it's gonna you know give you all that recoil, plus it's lightweight, it's you know super cheap, so I'm not expecting it to be the softest shooting 308 ever made, but it's really not that bad. Such a cool looking bullet, man. The 308 is one of my favorite calibers. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. I've you know thought about getting a, a you know really nice high-end like semi-automatic, but I saw this on the shelf for 350 bucks and I couldn't really pass it up. So obviously the action isn't the smoothest. There's little quirks that you're gonna get with these cheap guns, but Overall, it's a pretty dang good deal for under $400, and I have you know no issues with this gun. I would absolutely trust it. I know the scope is not the highest quality, but I Loctited everything, made sure it was all secured in place, and it's you know hits the target from pretty far away. So it is a four, three to nine power. Let's see, you can adjust that. I have it at about five right now. Um, which is good for 50 or 60 yards. But when I came out and zeroed this thing, all the adjustments were accurate and it only took me a few shots to get it zeroed in. So it might not be the newest caliber that all the cool kids are using, but it is one of my favorites. Let's shoot it some more. Last one. Don't know if you guys can hear that steel target. It is an AR-550 steel target, so it doesn't ring like an AR-500 target does, but it is crushing that thing. <laughs> but let me know in the comments if any of you guys have one of these Savage Axis rifles. Uh, they got them in several different calibers. They had like 6.5 Creedmoor, 30-06, 308. This is just the caliber that I needed at the time, but they do have them in a bunch of other calibers as well. And like I said, for the price, I would imagine that tons of people probably have these rifles because it's just the cheapest way to get into you know all the calibers that you need i honestly thought about buying all three calibers that they had on the same day because they're just so cheap and cheap doesn't mean bad let's go down and shoot some more fun stuff all right let's blow some stuff up let's start with a two liter believe it or not aside from the scar that we had a couple years ago i've never really got to shoot this kind of stuff with a 308 so i'm excited to see what it does <laughs> I was trying to blow the cap off and shoot it out of the top. I went a little bit low, but that was pretty cool. Let's try some shaving cream. A lot of shaving creams start out as like a gel or a liquid, and then when you pump them out, they turn into foam. So, curious to see what this does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that one hit me in the leg. 
That was not what I expected. Holy crap. Now that made a mess out here. <laughs> So this is ground zero and you can see how we just painted the backstop and then sent shaving cream all the way back here to where I was standing. And it's all over my shoes. <laughs> well, I think I just found a new favorite target. Well, it's gonna be pretty tough to top that, but let's try a pineapple. Very interesting. So let me cover my face. The entrance hole is right there. It's hard to see. And the exit hole is right there. I almost thought that I missed it or hit the top of it or something, but it just went straight through that pineapple and didn't explode it at all. Let's try it once more. I'm gonna aim lower this time. <laughs> A little better. So it's covered in shaving cream, but you can see our exit hole right there. And of course, last but not least, the watermelon. One good thing about this gun is I can just beat it up and not really care too much about it. <laughs> Let's see if our watermelon does better than the pineapple did. Oh yeah. <laughs> much better. I've got one more round, let's go ahead and send it. Bulletproof glass. I'm really growing to like this gun a lot. All right, everybody, well, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get some water down here and spray all this stuff off. I expected that shaving cream to explode, but not cover the entire property out here. So we got some cleaning up to do, but I just wanted to make this video because I feel like people misinterpret what I say sometimes when I'm you know, testing cheap guns or shooting inexpensive guns i have zero issues with cheap and inexpensive guns i think they serve a very important purpose and you know for a lot of people including myself a lot of the time that's all we can afford and the most important thing is to arm yourself and these cheap or inexpensive guns allow us to do that a lot more easily than you know some of the really high dollar stuff so the savage axis 308 bolt action rifle like i said i just got it so i don't really know how it's going to hold up long term uh, but for now it seems like a pretty good rifle and for what i do here on the channel i'm sure it'll work just fine and it gives us a 308 to add into the experiments which is a caliber that i've been needing for a really long time so let me know in the comments if any of you guys have the savage axis 308 or in any of the other calibers that they have they have a ton of them out there so i'd be glad to hear from you guys as always if you enjoyed this video guys please let me know down in the comments below and hit that like button for me guys i'd really appreciate it thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time